what is up you guys welcome back to yet another review and today we're going to be taking a look at another cars on the road diecast but today we're going to be taking a look at the new diecast of royce Resley from the salt flats episode so let's get into the review now royce Resley is probably my favorite release from case um l which is his first appearance and he also appeared in case m which is the final case of 2022 yeah so yeah i guess we'll get into the review of him now his artwork he looks pretty cool he looks like a pretty good guy although it does affect him a little bit more orange than his actual release which is a little bit more like a salmon red color kind of cars on the road logo right there new for 2022 there um we got the uh the map in the background which looks really nice uh with willie's view the circus velocitas um i think that's the just, oh yeah there's a bunch of plateaus up here and i think that's the dino park area where they visited so yeah metal logo um mattel you just threw it up there and then on the back you got some other cars from case l and some other cars from the case h like uh, uh on the road mcqueen and speed demon are from case k but the rest are from case l including um gold the rusty's Ra racing center cruise mirrors which is like a gold kind of cruise mirrors Royce Revsley, the man himself, uh, Griswold, and K Pillar Derev. Um, K Pillar Derev is actually going to be coming for me soon. Uh, it's probably going to come around like whenever Halloween comes. So yeah, I'll do a review of that soon. So yeah, and I guess we'll uh, be unboxing Royce now. So yeah, let's do that. So here is Royce, the man, all out of the package. He looks pretty stunning. Honestly, I feel like this is one of the best releases they could have come up with this year because it just looks really cool to me. Honestly, the first time I saw him, which was in like one of those like cars on the road commercials with like Dad's Jammin, uh, Revo Koss, and like that super long car, which is going to be in the nine pack. I knew for a fact that this release was going to be my favorite, a really nice, awesome release. So I guess we'll get to the review of him now. Um, his expression looks just pretty standard, pretty standard, typical uh, Cars expression. Although he kind of does look like um, a, an anteater to me, which is like a animal that's like meant to eat ants. That's what it's hence the name, anteater. So yeah, but it still looks kind of cool. Uh, you got the brown eyes there. So yeah, also got this little pattern up here, which uh, there's like this little sil the silver dot and like a silver lining leaning up to that and, it's, and you can actually feel the texture of it and then like two little uh i don't even know what to call it like sl uh slivers i guess of yellow going ascending off to like a either direction um now on the side here um you got um the tires which are self flat tires and honestly they're really disappointing i literally do not like these self flat tires Mainly because they're just all white. Like, they could probably be mistaken for, like, snow tires, sand tires, maybe even white wall tires at times. But, like, it just doesn't look like salt tires. So, like, salty tires. It looks more like snow tires. Or, like, sandy tires. Like, from the, um, from the Beach Racers line from 2018, you know? But, I mean, come on, that's what Mattel's doing for all these, uh, salt flats cars excluding the speed demon now you got also got these little lettering nic up here o l a s five two three a hmm. wonder what that is i mean first of all nic wonder what that means and then the text below is just i don't even know what that means but yeah he must be sponsoring something and he's an import so it has to mean something from like some some somewhere else from where he was imported in and then there's 523a again with a like a really nice yellow stripe looks pretty cool also got this little back fender that's like covering a little bit of the uh, tire back here also got this little blown engine up here with three stripes on it and there's like some text saying uh 1215r so yeah it's pretty cool wonder what that means and yeah, uh, you also got this really nice exhaust pipe right here with like a little cage in the in the back here. It looks pretty cool. Um, I mean, he looks pretty similar to like the Easter buggy or like Shifty Sidewinder from Radiator Springs 500 and a half or something like that. But yeah, he's pretty cool, honestly. There's the other side of his decals, you know, and I see O-L-A-S 
gotcha 3a all that stuff all that good jazz now here's the base and something that honestly just catches my attention is the fact that his base is metal now we do know that he's like a much smaller car than lightning mcqueen as you can tell like in scale he's much smaller but for some reason mattel gave him a metal base i mean that's why his tires are so squeaky which is kind of annoying <laughs> But, I mean, I do like the touch of him. It looks him a little bit more heavier and more, um, the more cost of, like, money. Like, it's worth to buy, basically, because these are, like, $5 in the store, and it makes you want to buy them because they're heavy and the base is metal. I mean, McQueen's much bigger than, a little bit bigger than Roy's, and he doesn't have a metal base. And Mater's also bigger. He doesn't have a metal base. I mean, this is a Chinese, China Mater, but whatever. But yeah, I kind of do like that touch. Anyway, R27A made in the 27th week of 2022 in the A factory. Pretty cool. Made in Thailand, obviously. And then you got this massive hole for this little, for this little red, little screw. Like, that's a huge cavity for it. And then there's another little, um, uh, bolt or rivet or whatever you want to call it. So yeah. Royce is a pretty cool release, in my opinion, honestly. I really do like the model, which is brand, it's a brand new model. And yeah. I guess that's about it for this review, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys for another review. It's probably going to be another custom or maybe just, like, a car that I haven't reviewed yet for my collection. That I already have. Just that I forgot. I didn't review it. But, yeah. I'll see you guys later. Bye.